poke your head inside an old airliner at Sandia's aging aircraft lab, and the wiring problem is obvious. You can see all the different wiring that's in here. Uh, some of the, the kind of issues that you may run into are, are things such as this. If during maintenance procedures, perhaps someone goes in and kinks this wire too tightly, and then it's up located near a bulkhead such as this, uh, the electrical current coming through here can arc over and short out to the uh, airframe. The problem in the aircraft industry is monumental. In just this one older airliner, there are about 25 miles of wires. In a more modern plane, there can be 100 miles. When the insulation goes bad at a particular spot, it can literally be invisible, sometimes just a pinhole. Sandia researchers studied old planes to see where and what kind of wiring problems are likely. And it's not always just age. Just improper installation, if you have too much crimping or bend radius on certain wires, uh, if connectors are faulty where you could get arcs, that could lead to uh, undesired consequences. Tapping experience from their nuclear weapons research, Sandia developed a briefcase-sized box that shoots thousands of volts of electricity through aircraft wiring for ten billionths of a second. Which then sends back a signal saying two things. One, there is an issue with the uh, insulation under test and where it's located. The technology should not only cut maintenance costs, but might help prevent disasters by finding problems early. Sandia has now licensed the system to a commercial company for marketing this fall. Bob Martin, KRQ News 13. What we're here to talk about is the uh, passive wiring diagnostic and why it is different than other currently available wiring diagnostics. If you take a look at the defect that we have here, you can see that the insulation has been abraded away from the conductor and the conductor is exposed. If this conductor makes contact with this metal rib that you would find typically on commercially available aircraft, um, you would have a hard, hard short condition. This type of defect, many wiring diagnostics can find, uh, they can detect as well as locate very effectively. However, if you take that same defect and you remove it away from the airframe, say a millimeter or so, at that point in time, this type of defect becomes invisible to most currently available wiring diagnostic technologies. The passive technology is able to break down that wiring gap by launching a high voltage pulse down the wire. It breaks down the gap and sends a return signal back to our sensors. At that point, we can detect the defect as well as locate where that defect is linearly down this wiring. We have been effective at locating defects that are isolated away from the return conductors of up to a millimeter and even three millimeters in length or in distance away from that return conductor. Um, that, that proves very beneficial when we're talking about uh, aircraft in flight where there's a lot of vibration and those wiring, that wiring can come into contact with a return conductor and therefore uh, cause a potential hazard. Another unique and very important aspect of PASID is that it's highly immune to impedance variations along the wiring systems. As you can see in this wiring in this commercial aircraft, um, there's a lot of variation in the spacings and, in fact, the type of wiring. The way PASID is employed is highly immune to those type of variations. Also, you can imagine trying to locate a defect here visually behind paneling in an aircraft that the ability to locate a defect, not only find it or detect it, but to locate it's extremely important if you need to come in and do maintenance. Um, obviously, also, uh, it's very difficult to visually inspect wiring systems, so PASID's ability to locate defects within a small regime helps, would help you come in and then locate the defect and perform preventative maintenance. We're proud to announce that we have, in fact, licensed this uh, patented technique to Astronics, which is a former uh, General Dynamics uh, division. And they have, in fact, commercialized the package into something about the size of the suitcase. Hello, I'm uh, Michael Ballas. I'm with Astronics, and I'm the program manager for our ArcSafe product line. Uh, we've been under contract with the FAA for the last five years to develop a state-of-the-art technology for finding faults in aircraft wiring. And we've uh, acquired technology from Sandia Labs, referred to as Pulse Arrested Spark Discharge. And we've developed a tool um, that's uh, evolved quite a bit over the years. And we're in our uh, initial production release of the uh, AS1216 Arc Fault Detection System. What we have here is a typical wiring, uh, aircraft wiring harness that has been ex extracted from a retired aircraft. 
what's been manufactured here is a defect in the insulation that's exposing the conductor. Now this is something typical you might find on an aircraft near an airframe, airframe piece where the, uh, the uh, insulation has been abraded. As you can see, the conductors are exposed. At this point, we will operate the arc fault detection system. And as you can see, the arc fault detection system is now breaking down through a high voltage pulse. It's breaking down the, uh, the uh, wiring defect. A return signal is now being sent back to the arc fault detection system and recorded. The key here is very low energy, non-damaging. So we're confident in the coming years as people understand this technology that it will become a very uh, important player in the aging aircraft fleet uh, in the United States.